There's a very curious tale in our Torah portion this week where the daughters of Tzalafchad bemoaned their fate. All the men of the Jewish people seemed to divide up their equal portions of the land in Israel, and yet they had been orphaned and without brothers, and thus felt they were being denied. They challenged Moshe, who in turn brought their case, as it were, before God, who in turn upheld their claim. They were given their own special parcel of land in Israel. And in as much as it's a story of women sticking up for their rights and good for them, I think there is something deeper, a little more moving being conveyed here as well. Consider the following little story. A father once admonished his young daughter for wasting a whole roll of gold wrapping paper. Money was extremely tight and he became upset when he found that his daughter had wasted the entire roll trying to decorate a box. But nevertheless, the little girl brought this somewhat gift-wrapped box to her father a few days later and said, Daddy, this is for you, for your birthday. And he felt immediate remorse and embarrassment by his earlier overreaction. And yet when he opened the box, his upset flared up all over again when he found it was empty. And he looked at her and he said, you don't waste paper and give somebody an empty box. When you give someone a present, there's supposed to be something inside it. And the little girl looked up at him with tears in her eyes and she said, but daddy, it's not empty. I blew kisses into the box and I filled it up with so many kisses, all for you. The father was crushed. He put his arms around his little girl and he apologized again and again. And it is said that that man, that father, kept that gold box by his bedside for many, many years ahead. And whenever he felt discouraged, whenever life got him down, he would simply open the box and take out a kiss, remembering the love of his child who had put it there. In a very real sense, each of us as humans have been given a gold container, a gold box, filled with unconditional love and kisses from our loved ones. But sometimes our loved ones, they are no longer with us, whether because they've passed on or simply because we become estranged. At the core, however, we remain eminently connected. And even as we may not be able to have that person with us, we yearn for, we crave for at least a gold box to hold on to, something tangible that reflects the deeper connection. And maybe that's why these daughters of Tzalafkad were so keen on their own piece of land, because beyond the practical, there's also a very real emotional need. Their, pa their father had passed away some four decades prior. That's a long time to be without a loved one. And so they were yearning, they were craving something to be able to hold on to, something that would enable them to always remember him by, to always reflect their intrinsic bond. The message, cherish your relationships, nurture them always. Make those gold boxes, fill them up with love, because even when the song is over, you'll always have that to hold on to. Frankly, there is no greater and more precious possession that anyone could have. Shabbat Shalom.